Probably not. What's up, everybody? Welcome to LiveCaseBreak.com. This is part two of our four-case Bowman Break Jumbo and Hobby. There were multiple trades today. I uh, turned this into a regular sell sheet with just 30 teams so it would fit better on the screen and just listed you guys all. So all 12 of you are there. Teams should be accurate with trades. If there's anything that is not accurate, please let me know. But I'm pretty sure I got it. So we should be good. All right, hobby case first. This thing's a beast. Strap in your seatbelts. It's going to take a while. And again, I misplaced my knife because I was cutting up some more inventory today. And again, if anybody missed personal boxes, deadline is 9 o'clock Eastern. As long as you have it ordered through the site by 9 o'clock Eastern, I will rip tonight for you. Promise. Doesn't really matter if this comes out upside down. But we're going to rip all the personals starting after this. As long as they're ordered by 9, and then we're going to be logging out. I saw that, uh, I saw Luis Robert as a redemption that I wasn't aware of. So I know Jeremy's going to be looking for him. Who else is a redemption that we need? Is Bryant a redemption? Yeah, definitely. I know. I just want to pull one Otani auto in my life. It's got to happen for me at some point, right? The KB Sterling's one. Okay. So we want to see. We want to see that little light blue card. How is the uh, music level? Can anybody even hear that? Maybe it's just too low on my end. Well, a couple. A couple base Otanis. How about the decision to leave him out of chrome? Either that or his chromes are super short printed. There is our beast. We will slay it together. Hobby Beast. Good level? Okay, cool. So he doesn't have chrome, Deca. He only has paper. He has chrome autos. Damn it, Lizzie, I'm getting sick of yours and Juliet shit. Actually, if you think about it, I spend most of my life being angry at cats, because I have way too many of them. <sighs> How old is, uh... <laughs> I don't know if Joe gets mad or angry when he sees a cat, to be honest. How old is Julia? Is she an old soul, or a little young box, though? Nice, so she's at least 12. Mine are 10 and a half, 11. Just starting to get into that older age. Chang Atomic.
purple chrome sour for the probably would help if I had the uh, autofocus on oh wow 14 see yeah, she's, she's an old kitty well not really an old kitty older senior felines <laughs> sounds like a dating app <laughs> Let me just go ahead and turn this camera angle up a little bit. That's better. That's better. <clears throat> okay. Now we're ready to go. This Tatis insert. Yeah, it is dumb, Ducka. I, very surprising they made that decision. But I think what they did is they're holding his chromes for uh, Bowman Chrome. Which will give that product a massive boost. These first non-auto chrome. <laughs> hey, the uh, did uh, Mike K get a hold of you, Josh? I gave him your email address last night. He had the Phillies. He was interested in uh, trading. Hey, it's an auto, man. It may be Zach Lee, but it's an auto. First auto is a rookie refractor Harrison Bader out of 499 for the St. Louis Cardinals. Jeremy T. That's all you. 282 out of 499. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had told. Well, I gave him the prices they sold for in Jumbo. So I told him maybe if he offered you cash plus the Phillies, he could get LA off you. But no worries. No sweat, man. They only did on some cards, Decca, but it is nice. I am a fan of numbering on the front. So much extra work to flip a card over bothered to do that. Alright, so we got two refractors so far, and we got the ink out of this first box. So, just looking for any additional color or numbered stuff. Upside down Jake Kalish, I always look at those a little closer just to make sure they're not some sort of variation. It doesn't appear so. Refractor Cole Reagans, there's our third numbered card. 499. Base. Uh, I don't know, man. I sold a blue Akuna for two two seventy-five. I just told you guys maybe a week or two ago. A blue leaf Akuna auto. Number the one numbered out of twenty-five. What do you have it posted at, Josh? Just through box one on the hobby case for anybody just joining. Ian Anderson, 499 for the Braves. That's right, it's right in the ballpark, dude. Or yours is a base. Yours is a base. Still should be over a hundred. Should be getting. What's the best offer you've gotten on it so far? Siren, Brennan McKay, Sterling insert. I nice said, and a whole bunch of chrome paper, rather. Oh, it is out of twenty-five. Okay, yeah, you're. I mean, I I would be surprised if that didn't sell by it now soon. Ours was numbered 1 out of 25, Josh, so that's probably why we got the premium on it. I'll look it up to be sure, too. Remind me a bit later, I'll take a look. Just to be sure I'm giving you correct information. I'm pretty sure it was 275. Not even an offer in a month or so. That is really weird. 
Especially since he came up and hit a home run. A. A. Ron Judge base. Try to get a science down for hobby here. Nice Kybert Ruiz first chrome. Those will be going off to your com C, Josh. No offers at all, Craig. Nope. So it's actually kind of the same odd thing. Josh was saying he hadn't gotten any offers on his either. But the, the truth of the matter is, Josh, there is a ton of Akuna content on the market now. So it's kind of past that point where the minute you put anything of his up, you'll get offers, you know. Even if it's been a month, there's hundreds of listings people have to sort through to get to get to his autos, so. Either way, you have it priced accurate. Second auto, speaking of the Dodges for Josh, there you go, Jaron Kendall. Damn, that's a good offer for the clear, Mike. Probably worth a little bit more, though. Jaron Kendall for LA. But, uh, Craig, on your Akuna, I think we just got a couple lowball offers. I, nothing, uh, or was that Otani? Where was that? There, there was nothing, uh, serious there. Acuna. Dugo, Hazley, Whitley, and Lakins. Fair, Mike, definitely. It'd be great if he could figure out a design that, like, worked year to year on those clears. Like, he keeps changing it up. And <laughs> failing for the most part. Like, I would rather have the pure glass autos. I know we all got sick of those, too, but I would rather have those than the clear. From this year, anyways. Atomic, Kyle Tucker for the Strokes, unnumbered version. Anybody joining that didn't know, the Atomics are numbered in Jumbo, unnumbered in Hobby. Odd as that sounds. Rogers, four ninety nine for the Rockies. Yeah, they're just like flimsy and like they just feel chintzy. That's why they don't sell well. I think he should do away with those and make a refractor version for his Chrome, right? That's what I think his best bet would be. Do away with the clears and just make base chrome and then a nice refractor chrome. Just like Bowman does. I mean, that's what we want. And yeah, the pure glass were cool. The problem with them, Josh, is that he put them in every product and then we all got sick of them. And they were mass produced. But on a basic level, they did look pretty nice. He just overproduced them. Hunter Green, Sterling Showcase. A good angle. Let's see the cards here. Corbin Burns, Matt Sauer, and Aramis Garcia. There's the sirens again. Aqua, Caprielian out of 125 for the Oakland A's. On to box three of our hobby case. You don't think so, Steven? Quite a bit. Hobby's average four numbered cards per box. I want to say Jumbo's average right around the same. 
best boxes though. They're coming, Lizzie. Break down the doors soon. Spencer Howard for the Phillies. Little atomic slash cracked ice. Matt Hall, four ninety nine for Detroit. Man, there must be something bad going on. A ton of emergency vehicles flying by. Definitely not a Tom Spencer Howard, bro. What is the Spencer Howard stat line in the minors this year, by the way? Have we determined if he's whammy status or if he's, like, on the bridge here? On the border? Eight to ten numbered cards a box? That would be... I think that would be a record for Bowman, though, dude. For Jumbos. I think Jumbo usually sits at three to four. Hobby usually sits at two to three. So it's it's like they kind of stuck with the average on Jumbo, but definitely increased color in, in Hobby. It's definitely odd. It's an odd uh, ratio this year. It definitely doesn't equal out to the cost per box as far as numbered parallels go. Acuna Chrome, DJ Peters, and Paper. Damn, so he's a strikeout kid. Alright, so he cannot be labeled as Whammy. He has avoided the Whammy tag thus far. Ramos Juan Soto. Hilliard, Hazley, Ellis, Armenteros, and Acuna. Guys, if you're looking for personals, just make sure you have the order in by 9 o'clock Eastern. And it is guaranteed to rip tonight after this break. After we finish personals, we're logging off. We're not going to be doing any divisionals or anything tonight. Just have a ton of sorting to do. You know, help our sorter shipper get started on it. Be a bit too big of a project for one kid this week. And the Rotani. Spotting the Okanis or Otanis today. Well, Louis Urias, Bowman trending. Jorge Mateo, we got a refractor. Nope, Nick Williams. Gavin LaValle, Trevor Rogers, and base. And base. Khalil Lee and Joey G. Clark. Spencer Howard, bro. There you go. Jeff, you want to fly down, man? You're more than welcome. Speak of the kid, and there he comes. Mike K, that's all you. Spencer Howard. 15.8 strikeout per nine ratio this year. Well, Crowder, I have a ton of other stuff to do. Contractors finished one side of the shop today with the shelving. They're doing the other side tomorrow, so i got to slide all our shit out of the way and move our boxes off the wall. Perfect. But either way, I'm going to be busy. I also got a certain somebody's uh, Com C stack to go through because it looks like they went on a spending binge with uh, with Ronnie this weekend. <laughs> you know who that would be? I'm not sure who it is. Some guy. Javier and Romero, Delvin Perez, Sam Travis and Rowdy Telez, Michael Baez and Paper. If you guys have a divisional filled and paid up before nine, sure. So feel free to toss some suggestions. We got a gold shimmer. Snuck up on me. Jesus. Lizardo. Oakland A's. That is 22 out of 50. So first, first uh, gold shimmer. 22 out of 50. Uh, you're in the stack, Ryan. You'll be part of it. For sure. Crowder Man's got a, uh, a pretty massive stack to go through. Nelson and Bukowskis, Solak, Hoskins, Sterling, so pretty. Is that all it was, Crowder? I just saw, I just saw a bunch of, uh, I just saw a bunch of boxes on the side. 
It looked like you bought a case of something, but maybe that was just the base. He didn't sort out any base yet, so. It could be right. It could be about the same size. Did you get anything nice in the tops jumbo? Or chrome jumbo? That's all it was? Okay. Oh, that won't be too bad. Ah, uh, I thought I saw red. Not red. You bought a decent amount, Ryan. You definitely have a, a fat stack to start going through here. So, for sure. For sure. Evan White Atomic for the M's. A red base of who? Anybody good? Kopech, Chance Adams, and Paper. Adam Hazley. Louis Urias, 499 Refractor, Urias. Hobby is going at a decent rate today, I gotta say. It's because we haven't done a jumbo yet. Bryce Wilson, Jimenez, Dennis Santana on paper. No ink yet. <laughs> Ryan, you, you can check your uh, your LCB account orders. You need a refresher on the Drunken Brave skin. Steven's asking about a six uh, six box division on Hubby. If anyone's interested. Say the boxes are 189, so it would be pretty easy to price. It'd be 189. Just look at the price real quick. Yeah, 189. No ink. All paper. It's crazy. <laughs> Ryan, afraid to. Probably best then. Probably best just to not look. Just be surprised when you see all the cards in your Com C and your uh, your eBay stack. Louis Garcia for the Phillies. Canary yellow out of seventy-five. Three out of seventy-five. Adam Jones. Oh, okay. Did he mark it to grade or no? It looks really pretty. Robles, tops 100. Auto, nope. Kybert Ruiz, no ink. KB, 499 for the Cubbies and Crowder Man. Louis Arias, and more paper. This is box four, so still looking for our ink. Didn't get a graph yet. Jaron Kendall, Jake Berger, Kyle Wright. Humphreys, Nick Williams, Jason Martin, Peters, and Rowdy Tellez. I do not know, man. I gotta look into that for Crowder, too. We wanted to pre-order some cases. Severino Blue. Damn, that's nice. Altuve is really nice. Yeah. James Caprioli in 499. Hey, there he is. The stick line autograph. Andres Jimenez, but he's not a whammy. 
Sells pretty well. Jordan and Haig, that's all you, man. I know, Jeff. <laughs> it really are. People are just going crazy, man. It's like the apocalypse. They're like, gotta get my Otanis. They're never gonna make cards with him again. He'll never sign. And the box five. Boy, this is freezing. Sick. He is not a whammy, but his autograph is a definite whammy licious. There's no, risk, there's no risk that your maze rookie goes down in value either. Unless the economy crashes or something. You know I met you in the dark, it was a Saturday night. Bo Bichette, Tops 100. It was something about you cause you got stuck in my mind. Stuck in my mind. Stuck in my mind. Albies and Royce Lewis. For way cheaper, dude. The next thing I know is that I held you in my arms and you asked what did you do? What did we do? <laughs> I think I can name more than that. Oh yeah, what's going on with the NFL pick? Baker Mayfield went number one. Oh. There's no Tawny rookie. Hold on, let me just get the NFL draft up on the side. You gotta be shitting me. Just start this on the side so I don't have to ask you guys every time something happens. I really, really, really thought that the uh, Bills were going to get him. I'm like super disappointed now. Come on ESPN, where are you? So the Cleveland Browns took Mayfield, right? Wow, that's just nuts. Sanzel, Bichette, Quantrill. Oh, uh, we had an Andres Jimenez and a Spencer. Well, you saw Spencer Howard, so you only missed Andres Jimenez. We're on box five now. Nick Gordon and Paper. So we're either going to take Darnold or Allen then. Blue Chrome looks autographed, and it is a Adbert Elzele for Mr. Crowder. I believe uh, he traded for the Cubs today. Look at you, Crowder man, little Blue Chrome on the Elzele. Two out of 150 on the Adbert. That might actually pull a 10 auto for him. It is streaky, but it's the best one I've seen. Definitely streaky in the middle, though. You got it, man. Set these down on sleeve. Set my sleeves are gone. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I would too if it was mine. Centering looks great on it. Got it. Set aside for grading. So the New York Giants are on the clock. Man, I... Uh, that's what I thought was going to happen, Crowder. To be honest. 
I did not expect Mayfield to go number one. That is shocking. I thought the Bills were going to grab him with our pick. I, I'm shocked. Very, very shocked. You would have thought, man. You definitely would have thought they could have got some more value and moved up somewhere else in the draft. But it's the Browns, guys. Don't forget that. The perennial cellar dwellers for, I don't even know, how many years now? Crazy. Ah, gotcha. Atomic Sterling. Brenda McKay. Nice card. 18, sorry, 19 out of 150 on the McKay Sterling Showcase Atomic. So pretty. Crowder Man, another trade for you. Two for two on trades so far. Franklin Kilom, Jordan Hicks. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Send him to the Browns. Imagine if he flames out, though. Oh my god. The Browns will have drafted Manziel and Mayfield, the two cockiest, arrogant kids in the last couple drafts, and they both fail. Personally, I really like Mayfield a hell of a lot better than Johnny Manziel. So we'll see what happens. That would just be epic if they both wound up flaming. Kelly, we got a Drew Ellis, 499 blue. We already got our auto out of this box. It was Jimenez. Christian Stewart, 499 refractor for the Tigers. Prado, Kaistone, and Brian Miller. I know, I love how they boo Goodell too. It's awesome. Warms your heart, right? <laughs> Michael Kopech. Here's the Giants announcement. Saquon Barkley for the Giants, wow. There you see the hug from his Penn State head coach, <clears throat> Saquon Barkley, going back to where he came from. <coughs> He's been outside Allentown as Penn State. G-Man. And that's how it got him. That's what got him to Penn State, even though he had committed to Rutgers and James Franklin. He's definitely he super young, young, man. There is no way. Definitely talented, Steve. You have to come to Penn State, and it has proven to be a perfect marriage. But now All right, what are the Jets going to do now? We got Atomic and some other color in there I saw. A little blue shimmer, which won't be numbered. Atomic is Pedro Avila, unnumbered. Welker, Brandon Marsh, little Hicks mojo. Blue Shimmer is Travis Lakens. Boston Red Sox, those are unnumbered. I'm I'm shocked. Did anybody predict Baker Mayfield number one out, out of any? Like any of the major draft predictors? I don't think anybody had him. I definitely didn't see him up there. Can you guys hear that draft coming through? I don't think we'll get in trouble for having the draft on in the background. Is that audio coming through, though, just so there's something in the background? Okay. Yeah, that should not be copyrighted, so I we'll get yelled at for Rather have that on than the terrible music, right? Uh, I let Ronnie be in charge of that. If I ever set up a basketball mixer, I'd probably maybe switch things up. Just let him know. Yell at Ronnie. He's right there. Tell Ron what you need, and Ron will fix it. Verdugo, Pardino, and Diekman. Fernandez, there's a Reds pipeline. Nice hunter green chrome and base. Ezekiel Elliott, Leonard Fournette. 
Adrian Peterson, Todd Gurley. MJ Melendez. There's our auto, Greg Diekman. So autograph number six. We got all base autos so far. This is exactly how the case went last night. And then shortly after the midway point, it got crazy and it was all colored autos from that point out. Cray cray. Yeah, there's a big price difference there. So they'll definitely change up the, uh, the price point. Chris Shaw, Johan Mises, and Bix. You need Ron on that break. I appreciate that, Steve. That's good. We don't want to yell at Ron. Well, Saquon, you were the face of Penn State football. You've insisted that you Oh, that's where Barkley was from, Penn State. Okay. Buxton's birthday! James Nelson, Willie Calhoun, Mike Soraka. Good, big fan of Moncada. He went earlier in all of our fantasy leagues than I thought he would, so I didn't get him in any of them. Helio Ramos out of 125 for the Giants. Late last night, because this is only the second great thing to happen to you this week. Allard, Luis Robert, Aaron Knapp, Torres, and Dunn. No, I don't watch any college football. Actually, not at all. Huge college basketball guy, no college football. I watched the championship game. Well, actually, I watched, I watched uh, the playoffs this year. I watched both of the finals and then the championship. So that was cool. Good games. But no, I, don't, I just don't get into it week to week. What a week he's had. We should all have a week. Yeah, Matt Thice. And Whit Merrifield at a 250 purple. More chrome. Who are the Jets going to take, guys? <laughs> I do, man. I do. Michael Baez. Obviously, the Jets know something that, you know, the people up here don't. Jeff Lagerman. Rutherford and Sam Howard. It's obvious to me right now that the Jets just don't understand what the draft's all about. So, the Jets passed on Dan Marino? Am I just, am I just learning this? Oh, hey, you want to start throwing barbs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, box seven in the hobby case. It's going very, very quickly tonight. Maybe I was just like gas last night, and that's why this thing was such a bear. Past the halfway point. Well, Med Rosario Sterling. Quarterback will the Jets go with? The Jets are poised to make the pick that they believe will allow Isabel in base. In the AFC East, Jets are poised to make the pick they believe. Think Rosen's gone? Who's that leave? Darnold? Robert! Nice card. Luis Robert out of 499 for the White Sox. The first. Draft, the New York Jets select Who is it? Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold. Oh boy. Sam Darnold is gone. Uh, box price times four, Crowder. I'm not sure exactly what I have him at on the site. Box price times four divided by six. Most of you guys that are here tonight, I'm already shipping to, so I don't need to add any extra shipping on it. Spot price! 
no spot. Going to the Jets. Just feel bad for the kid, right? Ryan Villiard! <laughs> Rodriguez, 499. Dick Hammer. Did they, did they really just say that? Is that his dad's name, Dick Hammer? It's not really his dad's name, right? Yep, all Fotani. Can't, I, I must have heard that wrong. It's not Dick Hammer. I, I, I had to have heard that wrong. Dick Hammer. <laughs> it cannot be his, his father's name. It's impossible. I swear to God, I just said it on the screen and showed it. it said Dick Hammer. Oh man, that might be the funniest name I think I've ever heard. Oh, this is my dad, Dick. Dick Hammer. 131 out of 150. Fernando Romero. Yeah, right in that ballpark, Crowder. Right in that ballpark. <laughs> they need to make a dad parallel for Sam Darnold with his dad's name, for sure. <laughs> I have no idea, Hank. I never understood that. I really didn't. Why is Dick short for Richard? It doesn't make any damn sense. Why would anybody with the last name Hammer name their son Richard knowing that his nickname would be Dick? That's a better question. <laughs> Where are these people? We need, we need to meet them. <laughs> Little Hammer. Anybody in on a four-box jumbo divisional? Guys, got about a half hour to get your personal box orders into the site. Like I said, whatever is into the site by 9 o'clock, I'll rip tonight. If we have a divisional filled up and all set before then, too, that's totally cool. It's not going uh, super late tonight. Okay, end of box seven, last couple stacks. Here we go. I don't believe we got an auto out of box seven yet. Well, Reese Hoskins. Fotani. Cunha, Braves Pipeline, Base, and Chrome. Congratulations. Thank you there it is, Tyler Malley. Cincinnati Reds almost had a no-no last year, or last week. Seven, I think seven and a third. Then it kind of fell apart. Cincy, Jerry V, that's all you. That is the not Hunter Green. The other Reds kid. Juan Soto and Gavin LaValle. We got an Aqua coming up. Shedrick Long out of 125. Or Shed Long. Well, Brendan McKay, Chance Adams, Gleba Torres. Bro, $3,000 a case retail now, Mike. We reordered today. We got a decent deal, but we didn't pay too far under that. Only got two cases because I'm not paying that much until until I know that it's staying there. Craziness, dude. Carter Kaboom. And on to box eight. Isn't it crazy? I agree, guys. When college defense is really fresher and get exotic with different looks, he struggled. He panicked. He turned the ball over. He was sacked a bunch. He couldn't hold on to the ball. Nuts. Third down Nuts. is a little bit of an indication of what he's going to see consistently in the NFL. It's, it's, That's an area I, that he's you know, I don't know. We've, we've talked about it at length on here. It's a combination of many things. More people in the hobby, more people prospecting. And I honestly think it's the job that Bowman is doing in tops as far as getting the top kids to sign. You look at previous years, like 2011, 2012, you got like two or three big kids to sign. That was it. 
The rest of the guys are marginal at best. But nowadays they're getting they're getting the top 100 to sign. So I think that definitely plays a role in it. But um, obviously Otani has a very large say in why this uh, price jump is around. Matt Theis, speaking of the Angels, little orange shimmer out of 25. And he said 10 Sam out of 25. I think 16 draft jumbo is now officially over 200 a box, too. A he would fit right in with what the we just reordered that, and I'm he pretty sure I checked the market on it today, and all the bids are 190, 195. And three yeah. yeah, it does. Do it, Who was the third pick? I missed it. Oh, Darnold. Duh. Browns, South Browns pick is in. So for the second time in the first is it going to be a trade with the Bills? Ramos Garcia, paper. But that's like top scroll, Mike. Bowman? I mean, 16, 17, 18? Even, I think it all started basically with 2015. Because 14 was... Well, they got Miles uh, 14 had Betts in it and Judge, right? Or uh, Betts and Bryant. So it was a nice checklist, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't as good as 15, 16, 17. Or maybe even better. Some people might think that. So they've got some offensive weapons. That would be you. Uh, they've got some offensive weapons already. They've got their quarterback. Let's see who it is. Now, Cleveland. Here we go again. Come on, Goodell. Make the pick, man. There it is. Dever, Smith, Rubber, Paper. All right, let's see. Fourth pick in the draft. Fourth pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Denzel Ward. Defensive back. Denzel Ward. Cornerback, huh? No trade either. The cornerback from Ohio State stays close to home. Mike Piazza or Joe DiMaggio, Lizzie. Damn. That's tough. Think about how rare catchers are, though. What the hell kind of baseball sim is that? Ooh, that is a pretty card. Damn, they got on-card ink for these this year. That's great. St. Louis, Jeremy T. Nice card. 15 out of 150. Out of the park baseball. Nice, Lizzie. Oh, definitely, yeah. That's cool. Alright, Bader, 2018 Rookie of the Year favorites. Cardinals having a decent break. Two autos so far. Got her auto out of box eight. Just looking for parallels and chrome now. And we'll be on to the final four boxes. Denzel Ward. A female GM? Do you have like an avatar in the game, Lizzie? <laughs> We're at the like twenty nine ninety nine price of a quality nice. <laughs> it looks like a dude. Trade offs, right? Jorge Ona, little atomic for the Padres. Aqua Mackenzie Gore, nice card, thirty two out of one twenty five, for supposedly the next best lefty in the game. Yeah, Wood Crowder. Although, honestly, John, there wouldn't be much of a reaction because the body armor they wear nowadays. Just lean out your elbow, take it off the guard. But I, I, I often think about what those types of matchups would, would be like. Juan Soto, Zoich Tatis. Like Sandy Koufax or Bob Gibson against Mike Trout. Wouldn't that be an awesome at bat to see?
Whit Merrifield, 499 blue for the Royals. Purple, Corbin Burns, 250 for the Brew Crew. Well, Correa Sterling, beautiful card. Earn 3% cash and back on paper. And dine groceries and 1% on all other purchases. What's in your <laughs> yeah. wallet? XL guys are built like everyone else. Absolutely, man. That was old school baseball. Hey, and you could actually collide at the plate too, John. That's where we begin. I hate that rule more than anything, that new rule. Oh. You can't block the plate unless you have the ball. It's stupid. And look even better. At least they haven't gone all uh, NFL on us yet, though. No elusive Otani yet, brother. Cannot be fired? Nice, Lizzie. Just run rampant on a team. <laughs> I would go be the GM of the Yankees and run them into the ground. Sorry. Judge is getting traded. Stanton released. Crowder, I think you see that in basically all professional sports. It sucks, but I think baseball has seen the least of it so far. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse. Nick Gordon out of 125. Aqua. 23. <laughs> You'd be like Jeter, Mike. Roll into town in Miami. Clean house. <laughs> Brett, you have the Toronto Blue Jays, the Washington Nationals, the San Diego Padres, and the Colorado Rockies, if I'm reading it correctly off the side. Denver Broncos. Romaniak. And Jay Melendez. Hunter Green. Uh, a couple cards stuck there. Just want to make sure nothing was missed. Nope. Okay. That's all good, Brett. I changed the format. I made it a big long list so that it would look better on screen. But it's still the same 12 of you guys there. Of 83, that was the GMC professional grade moment. We've seen two quarterbacks go. Josh Rowland, Rosen's still there. Josh Allen's still there. What will Denver do at five? You got plenty of Otani paper, dude. I mean, I think they fall one to two per box from what I've seen. I mean, I didn't look at most of the paper, but I would have to think you got at least eight or nine Otani papers per case. The NFL's continued support of... Uh, 250, Josh. Hospital helps ensure that all kids... They were the second or third team out, out of the store. This year, the NFL, NFL Network, and Rich Eisen help raise $180,000 so that no family ever receives a bill from St. Jude. Oops, stick. With me tonight to announce... We are on box nine... Nine, 10, 11, 12. Box 9 of the Bowman Hobby case and the 4-caser for anybody who's just joining. 147 out of 150, Granky. Jamie Jones, Ian Anderson, and base. Uh, best card so far was a Harrison Bader out of 150 and Alzale out of 150 in this case. This is the Hobby case. We got three boxes left after these stacks right here. And of course, I'll do a recap. Another defensive end, no QB. Well, with Denver fans, they're hoping it's deja vu all over again. Much like Von Miller and Demarcus Ware led them to Super Bowl. But yeah, Brett, the Otani paper look like they're 10 to 12 bucks a piece. Speaking of, another one came out right there. Okay, Spencer Howard out of 250. Morejon. 
Jojo Romero, paper. I think that's what we're at, dude. That's the market on him right now, Jordan. I promise you. Or no, we're at 190. A wholesale on those is 160, 170, so it's flying. It's already tripled from original cost. Oh, there's our auto of the stash. Jojo Romero for the Phillies. Mike K. Jojo Romero. It's, yeah, we were just talking about it earlier, Jordan. It's just crazy, man. It's just nuts. A lot of factors go in. Obviously, Otani, one of the main ones. Guzman Crow? Oh, nice. Let's see if Crow. It's not gouging, Steven, though. Gouging is when somebody's just intentionally marking something up when, when they can get it for hundreds of dollars less. At least that's what I consider gouging. This is just what people are willing to pay for, for Bowman. You see plenty of gouging, but yeah, this is just a market that I have not seen before. Uh, yes, the base refractors are, yeah. Dodgers in the jumbo portion, okay. Um, okay, that means I gotta just do a uh, separate sell sheet for that box. Okay, um, do me a favor, Josh, just remind me once we're done with this so I can just change it on the screen and print off a different sheet. Okay, here we go. They're going to try and get after the quarterback. They're trying to just absolutely blank you on defense and give Case Keenum chance. Also, a point that comes up with that, the offers that are out there standing for the Otani Super are definitely affecting people ripping this. When you have a standing offer of 60 grand cash from Blowout, which is obviously low now that we see the red on eBay is over 55 grand. So the super is going to at least pull 75 to 100. But that's definitely affecting people. They're definitely ripping more of it in hopes of hitting that card. Adam Hazley, nice gold. Woman Scout, 70th overall prospect in the minors out of 50 for the Phillies. Mike K. The Phillies definitely own these breaks as far as colored refractors go. I think we all agree. I don't know how they did it, but they've got a ton of color and parallels in it. To blow out up to 75K, wow. I mean, you got to think. People are seeing that and they're going, yeah, I'll buy a box for 200 bucks for a chance to make 75 grand. Once that super comes out, it'll be interesting to see what happens to the market. See if it drops a little bit or not. Well, that's for a later discussion. The Colts hope they have their quarterback back. And Andrew Luck, this is the trade to get them up the six that they made with the Jets. Let's go to Roger Goodell and find out where Indy goes now. The pick is in. I thought we were eighth, Ron. The Bears are eight? What the hell? The Indianapolis Colts select Quentin Nelson. I thought we were eight. Notre Dame. Weird. Maybe I'm thinking of last year's draft. Okay, guys, box ten of the hobby case. Starting now for anybody that's joining us. Orange paper, long go out of two fifty. Little San Francisco Giants. Uh, 12 minutes left on personal box orders, guys. So if you want anything ripped tonight, you got to have the order in by 9 o'clock Eastern. You've got 10 minutes, roughly. There's a link. Scroll our site if you want anything added to your orders. Of course, Ron will be here this weekend, too. I don't remember if I went through that stack, so I'm going to go through it again. So it's not like tonight's the last night. I just have a ton of shit to get done tonight, so I can't go super late. Morijon, Conforto, Bradley, and Bass. Efron! Um, Ron, you, buy a, you had a computer by chance, brother? If you are, could you just mark... Mark Crowder's orders to uh, ship any that are processing in the store. Muchos gracias. If you can't, let me know and I can do it. Release the points.
for. Put rubber to the road. Bring the heat. Like a champ. <laughs> like a charge. If you're not on a computer, no sweat, Ron. Just let me know, dude. All new terrain. The compact SUV Hicks. GMC. Paper. Heard non-GM owners get this low mileage lease on this front wheel drive terrain <laughs> SLE. I was gonna say, it didn't do anything. You just got a random F Ron. Allowance when you finance through GM Financial. Awful, man. Don't make a first Atomic. Impression. Albert Abreu. That one's numbered because it's an insert. 121 out of 150 for the Yankee. Don't trade law school for life. Right, Jordan. <laughs> Franklin Perez, there's a numbered base refractor. Quentin Holmes, 499. Don't share a moment. Paper and chrome. Sharing a moment without it. Don't go abroad. Go down. I will just put it out of your comfort zone without it. Don't change the game. Don't even change the world without it. Don't want to dance like nobody's watching your body. Whatever you do, don't forget that the more you do, do, the more you six toe Sanchez. The Hoskins favorites. Don't live life without it. Prado, Braves Pipeline. We're gonna get an autograph on this stack. Nope. Bowman birthdays, Mackenzie Gore. Mackenzie Gore. No, it's good. There's our auto, Sandro Fabian. Roll on it. You see it, right? Had to ask about him last night because I was not too sure about this prospect. Jordan and Haig. That's all you, buddy. Sandro Fabian, purple, and the number is 104 out of 250 on the Fabian. Young kid, good stats, double setter, very young. Nice card. You guys got a couple nice cards throughout this break. Taylor Ward, Reyes, and Thomas Hatch in base. Bills trade it up. Oh, we trade it up to seven. Here comes our, Qu our QB, bro. So this is going to be Rose Rosen, right? Or what the hell is his name? Rosen or Allen? Allen or Rosen, yeah. Oh, the Bills' future. Hanging in the wind. We got some color here. Let's try to finish this stack before they come back. Little Atomic Sam Hilliard. Colorado. Looks like orange. It is orange. Eric Lauer out of 25 for the Padres. I think he made his Major League debut two days ago and got destroyed. No clue, Jordan. No clue. Wow, we traded two second round picks to move up to seven. Man. Two second round picks in our 12th. Cray cray. Blue. Carter Kaboom out of 150. 97 out of 150 for the Nationals. But ultimately, when Bradley Chubb became available, Anthony Benda. I want to make the deal. So Buffalo got on the phone with Tampa and traded two extra second round draft picks to move up to number seven to put the Bills in position to get the quarterback that they coveted. And the Bills even Who is the quarterback we coveted? Yeah. Hey, we have Peterman. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Brendan McCade, <laughs> Gordon Dylan Cozens, and Paper. Sorry, I kind of zoned out there during that last couple stack stacks there. Okay. Finish these two boxes, and we are done with Hobby. All right, Adam Moore, thanks very much. So with the trade, Buffalo Bills make it up. Oh my god. Oh, that's an ugly list right there. Oh, that's so terrible. That's such a terrible list. There's not one good quarterback on that list. Except for our boy Peterman. And my boy Doug Flutie, of course. Absolute legend. Yeah, this QB, this pick is QB centric. He really had to dig on the phone lines for that nugget of information, Crowder. Oh boy, here we go. All right, the Bills pick is in. 
traded the seventh pick to the Buffalo Bills with the seventh pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. The Buffalo Bills select Josh Allen, quarterback. Wyoming. Wow. Josh Allen, welcome to Buffalo, well, buddy. A little longer wait than Josh Allen expected, but the man who once had to send out a thousand emails to head coaches, offensive coordinators, and quarterback coaches. His family farm grows cantaloupe, cotton, and wheat. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> cantaloupe, cotton, and wheat. Man, that's that's funny. All right, Randolph and Vladdy G, Glabar Torres, Nate Pearson, Robert and Craig. Hey, at least he has a uh, at least he has a fallback plan. He can go grow cantaloupe if he needs to. Well, Nick Gordon, not a two fifty for the Twins. A little trammel, a little shed long, a little med, and Daniel Johnson. Be sure to hang this quarterback jersey next to Johnson Taylor in my closet in a few years. <laughs> Rob Johnson's the worst quarterback on that list that they just showed for the Bills. Terrible. I hated that guy. So we went with Allen. I haven't watched him play much. I'm gonna have to look at some uh, some highlights. Little Otani there. Little Hoskins, Tatis, little paper. Dude, I love Flutie. I mean, he's like my all-time favorite. And Trey, you saw it. The Bills fans behind us are going crazy. Such a raw deal in Buffalo with Wade. Wade Waddle Phillips. I hate that guy. Jaron Kendall, refractor. 341 out of 499, Jaron Kendall. Little LA Dodgers mojo for Josh. There we go. Doing all right with LA? No Ruiz yet. A couple nice autos, though. I don't think we did this stack, did we? Maybe we did. We'll do it again. All base. All right, box and a half left on the hobby case, everybody. If you're just joining us, deadline for personal boxes is now. So if you guys want something ripped for yourselves tonight, got to get the order in now. Check the site. Everything's in stock. Boom, boom. There you go. 9 o'clock, order shut down, and I will start ripping them right after we're done with this case. We've got a jumbo one up next. After that, we'll be doing first. Well, the ideal situation, Ronnie, is that Peterman starts out the year well. I, I doubt Allen starts right out of the gate. They probably want to sit him and get him acclimated to the game. And then I, you know, my advice, once Peterman has a good game or two, maybe flip him for double or triple what you paid or what you have into him. Only takes one good game, dude, for people to start buying. But I'd also kind of like to see training camp, dude. See, uh, see how Peterman plays. See how Allen plays. Bader, Chrome, Rogers, Chrome, Randy Gonzalez, Chrome. All his uh, Bowman stuff is for sure. Jordan, I was I was a teenager and I was so mad when Wade Phillips made that call. I I was angry for weeks, and like my dad was like a hardcore Bills fan, so he was just like livid. Lost us the game, man. Lost us the game. I I'll go to my grave saying that Flutie would have won that game for us, just because Rob Johnson is garbage.
And always will be garbage. I hate Rob Johnson, if you couldn't tell. AJ Puck, Atomic. Acuna, Francisco Mejia, Rowdy Telez. And Andres Simenez, nice card. Blue paper. 143 out of 150. Jimenez. Paper, paper. Little Soto, Hilliard, Acuna, Ramos, Kopech, Howard, and Ellis. All right, our last box, our last draft. A couple of these sleeved real quick. Josh Allen's with Buffalo. Tom Brady can't play forever in New England. They got to get a backup to him. But so Aaron Perry. And Miami's got Ryan Tannehill. He's <laughs> got durability issues. So now we got the Jets. And yeah, the Tannehill Bills. cannot they stay healthy. Maybe two, three years down the road. By the way, we, all these quarterbacks that may be going. May nothing be too, uh, nothing too good, to Danny. Bears. Let's go to the this has been the first quiet case as far as not having a big, big auto. Last year, to get Mitchell Trubisky with the second overall pick. Where do they go tonight? A couple with nice ones, but nothing uh, too good. The 2018 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Roquan Smith. Grab another thing to see you. Georgia. Well, he might have been the best player in the college football playoff, even though Georgia didn't win the national championship. From the hometown of Montezuma, Georgia, he now goes to join the legends of the linebacker, Dick Buckkiss Award. Cardinals have done pretty well this case, Danny. Harrison Bader Refractor and uh, nice one numbered out of uh, 150. 32, Jordan. Or 33. Sorry, dude. I I hate him, man. I, I hate him. That was like devastating as a Bills fan, and we never made the playoffs again, dude. It was just terrible. Until last year, of course. I wouldn't even let Rob Johnson mow my lawn. I would let my lawn go unmowed before letting Rob Johnson anywhere near it. Danny Man wants all your Flaherty's and Baders. All of them. Sell them all to Danny. Or else. He'll send some Australian spiders your way. Here we go. Final box. Chris Archer, 499 Blue. Try to pay more attention to the cards here, not the draft, now that the Bills have drafted their quarterback. Zach Littell and McKenzie. A paper. True story with My doctor said Be a short break in between this, maybe just five, ten minutes. Let's get the hobby case moved off on the side. We'll go right into the jumbo case. Won't waste much time at all. Dane Dunning, Dom Smith, and Lazardo. Uh, yeah, we've hit two Gore autos. We hit a base and we hit an atomic Gore auto out of a hundred. Really nice card. That was in uh, the first half of this last night, I think. Steven's looking for Fabian. Fabian. Alright, second stack out of the last box here. As this may keep these problems from becoming more serious. These are not all the possible side effects of Keytruda. Tell your doctor about all your... Chavez and Lange, Brennan Rogers. Purple Chrome, Aramis Garcia at a 250. I don't understand how he still has Chrome. Not one, dude. I know. Waiting for it. Newman and Adams. Jimenez, Soto, and Young. Hoskins and Otani, man. We haven't hit one Luis Robert either. I think those are the three biggest names we have not hit. Pretty much everybody else in the top echelon. Final two stacks. I am so sorry. 
talk to a State Farm agent today. Atomic Kybert Ruiz. That is a nice card. That'd be numbered if it was in Jumbo. Kybert Ruiz. Dodgers, Josh G. Nice hit, dude. Hey, Pops. Top prospect for them. Got you your usual. You need your Billy Odd, Glabar nope. Torres, Taylor Clark. Got plenty of time. <laughs> Here's Rutherford and Fado. A little better. The sweet Harper Mojo. Sausage, egg, and cheese Is he really still top 10? Yeah. Doesn't that feel like he's been around forever, Steven? I feel, he signed, like, back in Sterling. I feel like he signed for 13 or 14 Sterling. Maybe not. Maybe it was a different guy I'm thinking of. Our final auto is making us wait to the final stack. Go pack by pack here to close this out. Nice Otani rookie. Hey, there he is. Louis Escobar for the Pirates. Lenny. That's all you, man. Luis Escobar. Fresh that. I do remember his first... Oh my god, we had a purple of him now that I remember, Steven. Yep, I remember hitting it on release day. I don't even know what the hell we sold it for. With the ninth pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers select Mike McGlinchey. Mike somebody. Notre Dame. Mike McGlinchkey. Offensive lineman in the top ten. Now, the trade's all about Jimmy Garoppolo. I think you look at what Jimmy Garoppolo means to this football team, and you certainly look at Matt Ryan. Final pack. Little Boba Shett, Delvin Perez, Chrome, and we end with... Oh, the hobby case is slain. Ronald Acuna, Tristan McKenzie, and our last Chrome is Chris Rodriguez. Go back to that Miami game. That be it for hobby. Alright, let me get this cleaned up, do a quick autograph recap. And color. Okay. Color stack. Let me just see if there's anything of note here. Nice Ruiz Atomic. Orange Lauer out of 25. We had a lot of oranges, but unfortunately we missed on the names. Longo out of 25, Hazley out of 50 for the Phillies. Notre Dame has never had two offensive linemen go in the top 10. They have two, which means we still have one. Thice out of 25 for the Angels. That's Josh Rosen of UCLA. Where is he going to go now? Anything else here? Canary Yellow, Garcia for the Phillies out of 75. Gold Lazardo out of 50. And the rest was basically just regular stuff. Bye, Hobby. Okay, and for our autographs, we've got one set aside for grading the Alzale. Cubbies, then we got Escobar, Kendall, Howard, Jimenez, Diekman, Malley. Beautiful Bader out of 150, rookie of their favorites. Jojo Romero, Fabian, Jaron Kendall, and Harrison Bader out of 499. That was the weakest hobby case. The one last night was crazy good. That one was probably below average. Okay, be a few minutes. I gotta get this moved off. And Josh, what is the trade we got going on here, man? You sold the Dodgers to Brian. Brian Tippett. Could it be Lamar Jackson? Could Lamar Jackson actually have to move for Josh Rosen? Play calls and innovative offensive play designers in the NFL. Barry himself said Lamar Jackson would fit very well in Arizona. This is going to be interesting to watch here. I like Josh Rosen. Brian T. Okay, cool. He's going to be off the board much sooner than this. He can sling it. He can play. This is a good one to watch. Now, what's amazing about Josh Rosen, of all these quarterbacks, the guy who's coming out who's probably the most ready as far as fundamentals sure. in the college no game question. are concerned it's him. Yeah. The thing with him is when the pocket's clean, which how often is the pocket clean in the NFL, he's going to make every throw. The concern, I think, is when things break down. A lot of these other guys can create and make a play happen. He has a tendency to put the ball into coverage. So, but, I mean, it, 
I can't believe he's still sitting there with a chance to go to Arizona. Well, it is interesting as you look Okay, so for personal breaks, guys, I've got Lizzie. You'll be up first after the jumbo case. <laughs> then Steven, and then uh, Crowder Man. you got a couple jumbos to do. And uh, I will push your points right now if... Uh, Let's see if uh, Ron didn't get to it yet. Okay, so Dodgers are... Brian Tippett's This is interesting. I mean, and this is where it's interesting because there are a million ways they can go, and depending on how they go, may tell us what they think about Sam Bradford is going to be available to do. We all know what Sam Bradford can do, but the question is, on. refresh, they refresh. Going to be available to do it for them. Yeah, the one thing that, that I will Yeah, my Hulu uh, feed is skipping badly. The first hobby case did not have much in it, Decca. I mean, it had some nice cards, but. Nothing, uh, nothing like last night where every single case had a $500 card or so. Okay, Crowder, I'll push everything from the 22nd. You know, really, it's a sneaky destination place. Twenty second back. If I'm Lamar Jackson or I'm Josh Rosen, I'm not angry. Right okay, now. John just did about seven orders. That should put a pretty uh, hefty stack in there. In the crosstown rivalry game, Josh Rosen outplayed Sam Darnold. No doubt. They went right on after that. You had a eight orders from the twentieth to the fourteenth of March. Because there's durability concerns, a shoulder injury two years ago, then the concussion protocol twice this year. Concussions. Then you factor in: Can he galvanize the team? Is he a natural leader that these guys are going to want to go and they'll have to the ball to ten yards? Okay. Go ninety yards. You can do it. Go. He came back to Memphis. He had the ball around midfield. A couple minutes to go against a bad Memphis defense. And he didn't get it done. He made some ill-advised throws, some bad decisions here and there. For such an incredibly bright, smart kid on the field, there's some common sense things he doesn't do. So I think Rose tell me here though, Kurt Herbie. You would never have thought, I think a month ago, he would be here at this spot in the draft. There's one thing about Baker Mayfield and Sam Darnold is when the game would get tight, great quarterback, not on my watch. We're not losing this game right now. You felt that. Josh Rosen, if you took Josh Rosen off of UCLA and you put him in Oklahoma, you took Baker Mayfield and Sam Darnold and put him with UCLA, I don't know if, if the team that Josh Rosen goes to is able to maintain the level that SC and Oklahoma played at, but I do think you would see a significant jump only because of galvanizing, as you said, a team and getting them to believe in who you and, are. And, and remember the A&M game, Texas A&M game, first game, he came back from yeah. way down. He made some throws in that game were just lucky to be completed. Right. Jordan Lastly made some key catches. A&M had a chance for some interceptions. Ball went through the defensive back's hand. So I think he's got to make better decisions on the field. Keep this in mind. If it is a quarterback, it would be the first time in the common draft era that we have four... playing out that way again Arizona gets 10 the Raiders get the 15th overall pick a third round pick and a fifth round pick this year the pick is here comes Roger Goodell across the podium and now the question becomes will this be the first time ever four quarterbacks in the top 10 picks of the draft the Oakland Raiders have traded the 10th pick to the Arizona Cardinals with the 10th pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Josh Rosen, quarterback, UCLA. And we've got history. First time in the common draft era, four quarterbacks go in the top 10. He was called Chosen Rosen when he showed up and was handed the keys to the kingdom as a freshman at UCLA. And Arizona has chosen Rosen to give him the keys in 2018. Bradford is there. Glennon is there. Rosen is the future. Josh, give you some hints. Find Larry Fitzgerald early. Find Larry Fitzgerald often. And occasionally look for that guy, David Johnson, out of the backfield. <laughs> I still can't believe Baker Mayfield won number one, guys.
Shocking. Okay, we are ready to start. Just tell Brian we're rocking and rolling here. Okay, so Josh, you've traded out completely from this break. One more looks like we're good to go. Just saw that Rosen got drafted. Cardinals. Hey, Brady's going to play like five more years, dude. Don't even worry about it. Okay, we got Brian T for the Dodgers. Here we go, the final case. A few personals to do after this. Box split open. Giants for sale. Let's see who has the Giants. Uh, Jordan and Haig. Now I'm trying to rip the tops off all these. Calm down. It's okay. Jordan and Haig want to sell you the Giants. Maybe you guys can reach a amicable price for both of you. No, Cardinals won't be ten bucks anymore in football breaks. <laughs> Bills won't be cheap. They won't be terribly expensive though. If they had gotten Mayfield, then yeah, their prices would have been crazy. Rise up, Red Sea. And uh, I just want to get in the hunt and win Super Bowl. Um, motivated. Hey, and there we go. Very motivated. <laughs> Cardinals will bump up to 1650. It's only a few dollars, a few dollars extra. Uh, I don't care. I just want to put some pads on and start playing ball. Uh, I mean, this has been an unbelievable experience. Met a lot of amazing. All right, guys. Good luck. Finale time. Thanks, Susie. The Arizona Cardinals had to get a quarterback in the draft. That's the feeling. Despite having Sam Bradford and Mike Glennon sign, Seattle has Russell Wilson. 49ers has Jimmy Garoppolo. The Rams have Jared Goff. And they didn't have enough ammo. He could. Hell, I wouldn't mind, dude. The Arizona Cardinals would have liked to have drafted Patrick Mahomes. Wouldn't mind at all. Oh, back to Jumbo. It's so nice. They didn't get him. Oh, we have this perfect breakdown. Thomas Hatch out of 150 for the Cubs. And then right into the pile they go. How sweet it is. KB Sterling, you got it, man. Let's find that redemption. Little Schwarber, little Pirates Pipeline. Rest is Boom. Is having Jed Dead Mosquito, hand-eye coordination on point. There he is. A bit in to the He's quick with his reads, has Somebody want to explain the biology of that behind me? Or the, the biology behind that to me? 209 out of 250, Spencer Howard. How is it it can be uh, 30 to 40 degrees for many, many months? We get two days above 70 degrees and already the mosquitoes are out. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Black flies and mosquitoes all over the town today. Bryce Harper. Little Sterling showcase. The Finns. Who the Finns going to take? Paredes, Bukowskis, Joe Adele. First auto. Eric Paterdino. Toronto Blue Jays. Base auto on the board. Where are the Blue Jays? Why do I not have them on there? There they are. Brett B. Little Pardino for you. Another Alabama defensive back goes high in the draft. Minka Fitzpatrick. Played a little bit Minka Fitzpatrick. And was called Nick Saban's son because everything that Saban wanted done is exactly the way Minka Fitzpatrick played out. 
Got one auto out of box one so far, guys. Atomic. Looks like a graph. Tyler Tom Acuna. It is a Zach Littell for the Minnesota Twins. Boy, those are so, so pretty. Twinkie, 66 out of 100 for the Twins. Twins go to Jeremy T. It's all you, Jeremy. Two autos out of the box. One more to go. I'm holding you to that, Ron. Urias, Adrian Morjan out of 250. <laughs> Just sometime this year, he says. He doesn't give a timeline on it. Kershaw out of 150. Dodges. Oh, you, Mr. Tippett. Only Charles Woodson and Patrick Peterson have pulled off that double dip before. Let's go down courtesy of Romero and Trey Turner. Well, Trey, he's always known as being so serious. If parents think you could enjoy the moment, how would you describe the moment? Oh, um, man, it's unreal. It's unreal. This is uh, it's a blessing. Uh, of course, well, I just want to thank God. Keller, Acuna, Willie Calhoun, AJ um, Puck, you know, Francisco so Mejia. Just like that. Fans, down and, uh, with a box. Uh, and the first one. Little Hilliard, Kendall, DeJong, and our final auto, Corbin Burns. Top 100 prospect. He might be able to add packs of it, for sure. I don't know about getting boxes into a weekend mixer, though. That's going to be tough. Just with the price point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the mixer will be one. Ron's weekend mixer. Two boxes of 2018 Bowman. <laughs> Not what it would come down to. Bigger doesn't mean stronger. Pack a punch. Come back. <laughs> one pack of stadium. That's what we'll do, Ron. We'll do one box of Bowman and then packs of everything else. Like a charge. <laughs> Mighty like a pro. Introducing the all new toy. You don't like trash club? Oh, Mr. Mike E is not a fan of the Trash Club. Nice Jimenez, 78 out of 125, Aqua. Well, weekend mixers aren't supposed to be high end. They're supposed to be cheap, low end, good prices. Wandy Javier, Colby Allard, we got a McKay Perez, Jaron Kendall, 7 out of 250. These kids all over the place tonight. Two autos, two colors so far. No ink yet. This is box two of the Jumbo Case Finale, the four case Bowman break. Alex Reyes, Nick Williams, and a pipeline Red Sox. There you go. Now try Romero, and Reese Hoskins and base. Gives you back your natural hair color before you went gray. No meat, no meat. Comb in and your natural hair color is back. Lift off. Just for men, auto stuff. Well, Nelson, Strength. Alvarez, Nick Williams, auto. Turn. Hunter Green. Glorious turn. Our third Hunter Green. From Craziness. Who's got Cincinnati? Jerry V. This kid's selling for big bucks. That auto actually is definitely a 10. The two autos we had on the orange and gold were not as nice as that. Little tiny, tiny streaks. Hunter Green strikes third auto. Like, man, we, we seriously do get certain players just off the assembly line. This year it was Hunter Green and Christian Pache. We had a ton of Pache so far. So that goes to Jerry V. Crowder man. Was that part of the Cubs trade? If I remember correctly, Cubs and somebody else. Oh, yeah, and Robles. Yeah, we got a ton of Robles yesterday. You're not kidding. Tommy Pham out of 250. I've been getting people Hoskins, Sterling. Kind of my thing. Actually, it's my only thing. But now, everyone wakes up to Greeny Beetle and Jalen's new morning sports show called Get Up. Must see highlights, can't miss conversations. Big time Refractor with ink for the Dodgers. Nice card, Walker Bueller. Watching them. 
Top rated pitching easy. prospect, 438 out of 499, Walker Buehler rookie auto. It's the Dodgers and Reds flexing uh, the big boy muscles here. Nice card. Well, it's been a record setting night here just inside AT&T Stadium. We had four quarterbacks go in the first that. 10 picks for the first time dating back to well ever. It had never happened before. What do we have in store for you for the rest of the night? Just hang go ahead and sleep because it's been a right roller coaster now. ride. The pick is in for the Tampa Bay Bucks who traded back. And they have to okay. make their selection. Press the box too. Mr. Roger Dell walking to the podium. Non existent. <laughs> With the 12th pick in the 2018 NFL draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Vita Vea. Defensive tackle. Defensive tackle. Great name, Vita Vea. All right, Canary Yellow. Let's see who we got. Gonzalez, Malley, Diaz, Colby Allard out of 75. 39 out of 75. Are you kidding me? I was going to say the first thing I thought of was Gerald McCoy. Quickness next to Vita Vea and his size. That's a big man. That is a big, big man. Keep in mind when you watch him play. He played Wildcat quarterback in high school. Rodgers, Gordon, Hoskins, and Paper. He carried the football because he was so agile and athletic. Combination, size, and power. Did you say he played Wildcat quarterback? He's a freaking lineman. Refractor looks like it's an autograph. Nick Williams, it's a Twinkie. It's Zach Littell. Second Zach Littell of the case. Minnesota Twins. Finish off the box. Sleeve that up. Move on to box three. My Lord, what's going on in camp? Mike Soraka out of 499 for the Braves. Back to back birthday boys. So this is a little bit shocking to me because this is a team that gives up yards easily. Like in droves through the air. Number three. This one shocked me a little bit. I'll tell you. Look, respect is from office. But this one shocked me to that point. They allowed six yards per play last year, the most in the NFL. They certainly feel like they're stocking up to stop the run with, as you said, Bo Allen. Okay, Welker, Morijon, Acuna, and Lindor birthday. Skunk alarm. You can never go wrong with defensive linemen. Enlo Marsh, we got an auto. It is a Dodger, Jaron Kendall. Dodgers are running hot tonight. Second Kendall. Third Kendall auto on the night. Brian T. Who's your auto earlier? Did we get a Kendall? Yeah, Walker Beeler. Second Dodger auto. This case, third Jaron Kendall on the night. We had purple and base in the first half. Frazier and a Dodgers pipeline. Maybe another Sean Taylor. Titan talked about you being in the front office oh, yeah. when they selected Sean Taylor. Derwin James sitting there. Who knows? Maybe oh, nice atomic for the Cubs. The Albertos Alzalay and Zagunis out of 150. And a little bonus refractor, same pack. Corey Ray for the Brew Crew out of 499. Okay, Ozzy Albee's Rookie of the Year. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, Dave. I mean, when they put the when they put the players on the in on the assembly line, the way I I think it happens. That a Hayes, not Cedric Mullins. Hayes would have been very, very nice. Nice blue chrome, though. Cedric Mullins, 123 out of 150. But anyways, when they put him in on the assembly line, I think they put him in in like as one player. So say like Green is going to go into X amount of cases in a row. Otani's going to go into X amount of cases in a row. Maybe they mix them all up. I don't really know. I'm just guessing there. But the reason I say that is because every year it seems like we get a run of cases with one specific player that hits way more than others. 118, 499, Brandon Crawford. Blue Shimmer, Trevor Rogers. Ooh, 15 out of 150. For the fish. 
Jerry. Jerry V. <laughs> we paid a little extra. Autograph, Sean Murphy for the Oakland A's. Jerry. All you. And this has been an unusual situation as the Raiders have moved back twice now. Uh, it's gone a little crazy. Oh, they had this spot. I'm sorry. I put them in the yeah. wrong spot. Okay. Yeah. That one's on me. Chance Adams, Matt <laughs> Chapman, so the Bowman Burke. So the Washington had a very busy offseason, of course, first and foremost, with the trade away. They traded away for Alex Smith and sent away Kirk Cousins, who signed that big deal. Iliad, Mejia. Do we have an auto version? No. Nope. Med Rosario. Sterling Showcase. Or just Sterling. I know. I know, man. Trust me, every day I look at those Trinity boxes and I, I, I look. There's no Tony in them boxes. One of them's got to have it. Nick Solak, 499. Andy Reid actually made Spencer Howard and, and Matt's and pipeline. I think Washington quite honestly upgraded that quarterback. On to the next box. Don't we'll waste any time. Uh, that's a fair point too. Otani is a rookie, and the rookie autos are only uh, two to three per case, guaranteed. The prospect autos are obviously much more common. Yeah, I totally forgot to mention that, Mike. But yeah. So Otani's on a limited checklist as far as per case. I think how many rookies are there? Twelve rookie autos this year. Nice Bukowskis, purple. JB, Houston, Jordan and Hay. Boy, I tell you, you guys got some nice autographs. Forty-four out of two fifty. The Washington Redskins select Deron Payne, defensive tackle, Alabama. Well, there you see Deron on the phone. So for the second straight year in the first round, I don't want that up. There we go. Defensive lineman Alabama. How versatile is this guy? Taco, what's up, man? For the semifinal game against Clemson, when he had an interception and a touchdown catch as a defensive lineman. Story and throw stats out. Verdugo and pipeline. Atlanta Braves. He was the guy that became a key entity that allowed this Alabama defense to continue to play at a high level despite so many losses that they have every year that they sustain. He is a guy gets. Victor Robles. And Gore thought it was Gore. Fooled me, Logan Allen for San Diego. No Gore. No McKenzie today. We had two McKenzies yesterday. Padres are Brett B. Logan Allen. You watch 25 cases, Mike? Are you nuts? <laughs> Aqua Glebar, nice card. 27 out of 125 for the Yankees. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, I heard that there were Bowman cases with all the autos missing. No Otani yet. No, Anthony. This is the end, basically, the last four boxes. Tatis, and it's Matt Chapman's birthday. What's gonna say, Mike? Of course not. See who watched 25 recaps. Kyber Ruiz, nice card again for LA, 121 out of 150 for the Dodgers. professional grade. Hunter Green. GMC with over 10,500 total value on a specially equipped Sierra SLC crew cap model when you finance through GM Financial. Professional grade GMC. <laughs> nice, Dave. That is uh, that's some good self control, man. More Another Elzale. Clay. Crowder, man. Sometimes you miss your quiet. Two Alberts. That auto is absolutely atrocious. Big old streaks. Almost off the card. But another Albert. Second one. Sell that one, uh, Crowder? What do you want to do? My daughter is getting married. To my you can probably just let me know at the end of everything what uh, what's shipping and what's selling. Or what's staying in the PC, rather. What's selling. Oh, yeah. Who sell like 
Refractor with ink. No ink. Jose Adeles Garcia to 4 dollars little refractor action. Keep them all for now, you got it. Do you want me to ship, or just hold them in your, in your shipment box for now? Until you're back home again. Fado out of 4 dollars for Detroit. Thinking Hawaiian spirit that first inspired <laughs> Come to my perfect. stream! <laughs> polarized plus two lenses not only protect eyes from Hold them for now, you got more it. More vivid. Yeah, I got an Andre Dawson jersey back there in your the shipment box, so see. whenever the next time is, you use better from when everything's sent out, add that to the. Just for men Austin Hayes out of 499. No chrome. On to the second half! Natural hair color. Hopefully lots of black labels come back for you then, dude. Black labels for you. This is the finale, Dave. This is the last couple, uh, last couple boxes. Tatis and Ahmed Rosario. Auto Phillies, Derek Hall. No Hoskins yet in all of the cases. Derek Hall. Uh, the hobby case was actually weaker tonight, Dave. Last night's hobby case was insane. Oranges, reds, golds abound. Really good case. It sucked to open, but it was a really good case. Kyle Tucker out of 499, extremely off cut. Strokes. Tonight's hobby case that we already finished was not so good. A few nice autos, nobody big. It was not good. The lowest numbered auto was a blue. No red, no uh, no orange autos. Yankees auto, Clint Frazier, rookie. I lost track of how many rookie autos. I'll count them up real quick, see if that's three. If that's three, the odds for Otani are likely shot. Nice, uh... Nice Yankees auto. So let me get a couple of these autos sleeve that I missed the last couple minutes here. Wow, that's a hell of a trade. If you've listened to Sean Payton, the head coach, over the last few weeks, he's been talking a lot about the potential of a guy like Lamar Jackson. Well, look, in order for them to give up a future first rounder like that in the subsequent year, yeah. they wanted to get up their bed. There's somebody that they wanted. And if, you just, if you're just trying to read Kendall, the team, okay, rookie the autos first, this case. We have one. We do have a hunter green this case, Dave. I forgot about that. Nice card. It leads you to believe it could be quarterback. We'll see. Yeah, we have no idea. But two. It okay, Jackson, two rookie autos out, so there's one more potentially in the case. Hold out hope for Otani. Coming from a Bobby Petrino's NFL style system, all that makes sense yep. if it ends up being Lamar Jackson. No doubt. And I think if you look at this situation there with Drew Brees, how many more years is he going to play at a high level? Yeah, Lamar Jackson, we know, needs time. Who's a great coordinator of offensive football? Who's an offensive mastermind? It's Sean Payton. Nothing. Who did a great job with the Sean Watson? The low blind did. Taylor, the offense to his strength. You know he will do that. Coaches that force him to do what I do are not great coaches. Very Purple Jose Adalos Garcia to 250. Going for the rainbow. This would be seven on the breaks, Dave. And then I had a couple do a couple local guys do some cases. They did not hit Otani either. So that would be up to, to 10 total, Dave, if, if he doesn't hit in this. And we've only got three left. The odds must play out, my friend. Got to be sitting in here somewhere. Devers, Brian Mata to 150. A million Robles, 300 greens. Um, there was one other guy we fit quite a but Oh, a lot of Pachés. I think four total Paché autos. To a run team and a defensive team. No Otani, though. Yeah, if you add all our Leaf cases, we're really over. We have not pulled an Otani out of. Michael Kopech. Bro, add in the two Diamond Kings cases. Otani signed for Diamond Kings, right? Never in the Drew Brees era. 
Yeah, the Kanji. Yeah, nobody's seen one yet. Is there is there one on eBay yet? Boston Auto, Mike Schwerwin. Or just Schwerwin. Interesting autograph from him. Base and the last pack. I got Lizzie with a hobby, Steven with a hobby, and Crowder Man's going to do two jumbos to close the night out, guys. That's going to be it for tonight. We got a ton to get done. And the Saints pick is in. I'm pretty sure at least one or two last night, Ryan, but I'm not positive. Pretty sure. Dave doesn't think they exist. The Green Bay Packers have traded the 14th pick to the New Orleans Saints. With the 14th pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. Uh, the Otani Red is over 60 grand now, Richard, I think. I think, right in that ballpark. We got gold. Wow. All the effort, defensive end. Here we go. We got a gold autograph. Ooh, that's a nice one. Pardino. I would be interested in buying that, uh, whoever got that. Brett, if you're selling, I'll buy that Pardino. Eric Pardino. It's definitely off center, actually, now that I look at it. So maybe not. Sorry, Brett. <laughs> not only is it off center, look at those two big surface pox right under the first Bowman on the right hand side. So scratch my offer, sorry. Pardino, though. Beautiful card, 9 out of 50. That'll sell well. Extremely talented young pitcher for the Jays. First gold in this case, though. Get her sleeved up for you, dude. Nice hit. Pardino. Schwarber just hit another home run. Man. What a good year, dude. Flaherty, pipeline, and base. I'm sorry, Brett. I was super excited about it, man. <laughs> the centering, I mean, I, I can't lie on air. The centering is terrible. Tiny gap on the right. Big old gap on the left. Let's just check the back for shits and giggles. Oh, God. Just so you see what I see. Small gap, bottom, top gap. Huge. But you'll still get good money for it, man. Somebody will not be as uh, OCD as me. <laughs> Left gaps. Not quite the kind of gap that's good. Blake Rutherford out of 125. <laughs> Six out of 125 for the White Sox. Little aqua. Aqua, aqua. I know, I had him sat in fantasy for a while, Crowder, in the game I brought him off the bench. That Cleveland game that he had two bombs in. So I, I've run the, uh, run the hot streak since. Very happy with him. Here we go. Auto. Sam Hilliard for the Rockies. Samuel Hilliard. Brett B. That's all you, man. Brett B's hogging all the hits. All the hits. A man must stand with his people. Lewis and Ahmed. Second Jojo Romero of the night. I think we hit him in the hobby. I think we hit him in the hobby. Uh, not Olivares, but Pardino I'm going to buy a little bit of if I can get good deals. Just because he's young and he's a pitcher, and I'll just throw him in a box for a couple years. Throw us hard and see what happens. Over. Olivares I don't know too much about, though. Honestly. Yes, my family. I will chop your family tree. So, who's going to see Infinity War tonight? Or who already saw Infinity War tonight? Watch me. I mean, Dave, if you have a low number to Oliveris, I might, I'd be interested. A new series, Wednesday, June 20th, Just as something cheap to stash away. 
I'm calling him Little Puig. I feel like his picture, he looks just like Puig, dude. Tomorrow morning, Crowder, I'm going to try to see it this weekend. KB. Isn't it? And Aaron Judge is having a otherworldly sophomore season right now. His stats are off the charts and nobody's talking about him, aside from Yankee fans. 499, Victor Arano. Chavez, Laz Armenteros, 499. Yeah, we were thinking about, uh, oh nice, we were thinking about doing the 7 o'clock. We were thinking about matinee Saturday too, those are usually the least busy ones, as far as college kids go and annoying people. Ramos, Bichette, Nick Williams, Isabel out of 499. Isabel. Nice, Brett. Auto? That wasn't one we pulled, right, Brett? That was one you pulled yourself. I can't remember. Down to two boxes left after this stack, everybody. Kyle Lewis, Max Kepler. Jay's Pipeline. With the 15th pick in the Let me know, Dave. NFL draft. I haven't even looked at what Oliveris is selling for. If it looks gemmable, I'd, I'd probably take a shot at it. Why not? Nice, congrats. That's an awesome hit, dude. What did it grade, Brett? Do you know? Colton Miller, six foot eight, three hundred nine pounds. That's a big boy. We got an auto. It's a Dodger. It is Dennis Santana. The Dodgers. Dennis Santana. Not terrible, Brett. Not terrible. A lot better than an eight five for a super. A med, we got a pipeline and Junior Fernando. Yeah, he might be able to move some people around. Oh, he's a left tackle, gotcha. Acuna and Kepler. It's. Uh, Braves uniform. I don't know. I really don't. I don't know what is, uh. I don't know what his market is at all. Strasburg got a 499. I haven't followed my ton at all since he left Atlanta. I know it dipped considerably because, I mean, in the Angels. In the Angels organization, he's very, uh. Very, very blocked as far as moving up. Oliveris is selling that well? Oh, for sale, no sold. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I, I expected his base autos to be like three, four bucks. If he's selling that well, Dave, definitely sell that now, man. Don't mess around trying to sell it to me. I'll wait till he, uh, I'll wait till he dips. What are his base going sold for, Dave? Andres Jimenez at a 4.99. The three aqua or three paper blues in a row here. So we just traded for the 16th overall pick, and then we get a fifth round pick. Okay, so we traded 16 for 22, or 22 for 16. Who do we want? Tyler Tom, 4.99 for the Cubs. Frazier. Devers and Nicky Delmonico for the White Sox. And we still have Calvin Ridley. We haven't seen a receiver yet. And you got a new quarterback. Better than I thought. Well, that's about what I expected, actually. Five bucks for base, 10 to 15 for refractors once they settle. And then color and the standard uh, deviations. Mike uh, or Kyle Young, 125 for the Phillies. I think you make the case that he's 
Should be some ink in these last three packs, I think. Ah, I just noticed that Nicky Delmonico is probably our last rookie auto. So hopefully we have a case with four for that Otani, Anthony. Auto, Greg Diekman. That's our first dupe of this case. Refractor. Beautiful looking card. 257 out of 499. Base 10 bucks, yeah. That's about right for release week. Um, redemptions in this are Luis Robert for sure. We know Bryant is a redemption for his uh, insert auto. And I don't know past that. Anybody else? Jason Martin, Blue Shimmer out of 150. Who are we taking? With the 16th pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select Jermaine Edmonds, linebacker, Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech linebacker, linebacker Tremaine Edwards. Huh. Okay. That boy's got a big gold watch on his wrist. For Dugo, Chance Adams, Michael Fulmer. That worked out okay. And Lewis, is he good? Or Kirk, Tremaine Edwards? Uh, we like what we've seen here out of this guy. It's a big one that's in the Well, he has the rare combination of, of size and speed. And he's 6'5", 253 pounds, and runs a 4'5". I mean, you just don't see linebackers like that. I think he has some versatility. Oh, about three grand, Brett. Inside linebacker, he can play inside, he can play in space again. Uh, he can rush the quarterback, so I think there are a lot of things here to like. Final box, guys. Wrap up the four caser. This will all ship out Monday. We'll do our best to get it out as quickly as we can. Zach Littell. Is that a dupe? Or was it the hobby case we had two Zach Littells? That is a dupe. That's the third Zach Littell. We got Atomic, Refractor, and Base. So there was three, four duplicate autos total. But they were different parallels. Minnesota Twins, Zach Littell. Let's see what our last few here. Here's a rundown for the rest of the night, guys. I'm going to do a recap on the autographs when we finish this. I'm going to rip the personal boxes that are in the queue, and then we are logging off. Plain and simple. Get all this Bowman out to you guys by Monday. Yeah, for sure, dude. Yankees pipeline. I think we got five or six boxes in the personal box queue, so not a ton. Lucas Sims out of 150. Two. Or no, Delmonico was from the last box. We got all three autos in here. I do believe. Verdugo, Rookie of the Year favorites. Definitely his first, Dave. Definitely his first, yeah. First auto will always be the big seller. Dennis Santana, Dodgers did pretty damn well. I think four autos at least. Yeah, one auto per hobby box, Ryan, yep. I mean, you might get lucky and get two. 51 out of 499 on the Dennis Santana. Okay, Aqua coming up. Trammel, Urias, Jake Berger. 114 out of 125. Or you could get unlucky and get zero. That is an option. Gold coming up. It is non-autoed Franklin Kilme. 24 out of 50 for the Phillies. Severely off-cut. It's weird. Earlier we had a card with a big right gap, small left gap. Opposite on this card. 24 out of 50, Franklin. Yes, but Trey, one of the great football families of our time, cheering you on from the green room. You've got number 16 overall to the Bills. What is this? Dunning, Harvey, Wilson, Diaz, Purple, AJ Puck at a 250. Four packs left, everybody. Maybe the Delmonica was from this box, but either way, we 
least one autograph left. I can't remember. Hayes, Royals, Mickey Moniak, Sterling. Three packs remain. Tyler Tom, Jimenez, Conforto, and Pipeline Cubs. Two packs remain. We will be back in 15 seconds with the Chargers on the block. But first, just a look at one of the most promising talents in this year's draft class. Okay, I think I see a refractor auto coming. Chang, McKay, Robles, Hoskins. Insert auto on a sticker, Michael Baez for the San Diego Padres. 38 out of 50. Almost a top 50. Almost. Oh, draft was super hard to tell, Brett. Yeah. Dra they, they always make draft confusing, I feel like, Brett. I don't know if they do it on purpose or what. It's a nice Baez Auto. San Diego, Brett B, that's all you. That could close the break. Let's see if there's one more in here. I thought that the Delmonico was from the previous box. That means we got one more auto in here. In that draft class with Big Ben and Eli mm, Manning maybe not. We'll count them up, make sure we got 24, though. Tukey, Toussaint, Perez, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Tatis, Perez, Birthdays, Reese, Murphy, Martin, Berger, blah, blah, and blah. That'd be the break. Let me get a quick count here. Get these all sleep. Recap coming, guys. Appreciate everybody joining. If you're just joining us, enjoy the recap video. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We did get gypped an auto in one box. Only 23 total autos in that case. Come on, Tops. Okay, recap on color. We got a Franklin Kilame out of 50 for the Phillies. Burger 125. Is there anything else of note? Looking through the color in this, boy, there was not really much in this case. Nice Kybert Ruiz, top LA Dodger out of 150. There it is. I didn't miss it. I just had it in the wrong stack. Cedric Mullins. So we did get all 24. Just say, I don't remember missing an auto. Cubs Pipeline, Triple Atomic, Colby Allard, Canary Yellow out of 75. And that was it. No uh, orange, obviously. Orange is hobby only. Only one gold in the non auto and one Canary Yellow. That's not a good color breakdown. So there's our 24th auto. We did not get chipped. I just had Cedric Mullins in the wrong pile. Okay, autograph recap. I don't think there was anything from this that was graded. Was there Crowder? No, you had one Alzley, and you're not grading that one. Okay. So here we go. Cedric Mullins. Santana. Baez. That's out of 50. Nicky Delmonico. Greg Diekman. Zach Littell, Santana, Jojo, Hilliard, there was one gold auto, Pardino for the Jays, probably their top name in this, well, easily, Mike Warren, Jaron Kendall, Sean Murphy, got a Bukowskis for the Strohs, nice hit, Jordan Haig, purple, Kid shaping up to be a stud for them. Logan Allen. Albert Elzele. Derek Hall. Clint Frazier, rookie. Zach Littell, refractor. Another Pardino, so two in the same case. Nice looking card. A little streaky on the ink, though. Three Zach Littells in this case, but they were all different parallels. Or refractors, so to speak. That's Atomic out of 100. Corbin Burns, a Hunter Green popped, and the last card was a Walker Buehler. Top pitching prospect for LA out of 499. That is the break. Thank you guys all for joining. Very much appreciate it. I'm going to close this video, get uh, this stuff moved off to the side. We got a couple personals to do, and then we'll be out of here. Ronnie B will be back on tomorrow night, so I'll be right back.